my channel and if you don't know who I am, I am Becky, I am 22 years old and I am from North Wales, currently studying at Edge Hill University in Ormskirk. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the Be Perfect Manifest palette. I got this in, is that Carmine? I got this in the mystery bag that we got in November, so when I wasn't on YouTube, um, and I've literally done I think like two, two looks in total with this. Um, so it's just going to be a tutorial on YouTube. I have used it, like I said. Um, has this got a mirror? Yeah, it has. Um, so here are the colours. There's some neutrals and there's some. Um, pops of bright bright colors um i feel like when i first got it i was like am i gonna like this like i don't think i'm going to it's just a normal palette i've got i can get these colors from anywhere else but then I, when i started looking into it i was like actually that's such a really nice gold trance i've used before um lou stevenson here on youtube did a tutorial um i'll pop it in the description below um and it was an amazing tutorial and i wasn't on youtube i wasn't on youtube at this point so i just thought i'd follow her tutorial and it ended up coming out quite well actually it's i it's a picture on instagram that i've uploaded if you want to go take a look and then um, i'm pretty sure trance was used the pigmentation in this palette is amazing as well yeah i think i'm just gonna go for a more neutral look today like a pinky look um because we have been doing some quite colorful um tutorials lately please ignore the redness on my face i do get quite red um and that's just what it is there's nothing i can do about it but today it's proper red but obviously at the end when we've got foundation on hopefully it'll look all right i'm just gonna do a neutral look today like I said so I'm going to go in with BPB it's this lovely like peachy toned pink as you can see um, there is fallout in this palette that is um, a downside I literally like tapped it a few times and if you can see there's quite a bit of fallout already um, but yeah um, so if you don't know I've got the creasiest eyes ever I've got base on and they're still creasy. Um, so I'm just dragging this shade through the crease. As you can see, the pigmentation is amazing. This actually, this pink actually isn't as peachy as I thought it was gonna be, but it's still like that nice pink that like w would actually go really amazing this time of year in the spring. I think not that we're in spring yet, but. We can dream. <laughs> so we're just soft. The brush I'm using is a Madison Beer Morphe brush. Um, I wish when Morphe did collections, like collabs, that they actually um, still named their brushes. <laughs> but I think a reason why they don't name them is because they probably have a brush exact with the exact same head from their core range so obviously it was pro it's probably cheaper getting that brush than this brush set and obviously they want to like make money and stuff so that's the only reason why I think they don't name them. Today on my eyes was P. Louise shade 1. I am nearly finished which I'm kind of glad because then I can start using base 2 a lot more um, and then I'll come to terms at which one I like the most <laughs> but yeah. This eye never goes as well because it's a different shade. I just feel like a lot of pinks and a lot of orange toned eyeshadows just look the best on my eyes. Also, if you're wondering why my lips are a bit darker, I've got lip balm on. <laughs> I'm getting there uh, quite um, sore lips. Yeah. So I want to darken the look a little bit. Um, I know the pigmentation on this is amazing already, but. I'm gonna go in with Oh Mummy, which is kind of, it looks like a burgundy colour, I've not touched it, so I don't know what it is. But yeah, we're just gonna tap it a little bit, we don't want too much. I'm just gonna go slightly under, like more in the crease, and we're just gonna blend that. Um, so hopefully it blends in quite well, yeah, it's kind of like a pink. 
So when I said I was doing a neutral look today, I don't think it's going quite neutral. <laughs> it's, what can we call it? Glam. Should we call it a, a glam, like a soft glam? Soft pink glam look. Do it in the other eye. Find eyeshadow on this eye a lot harder. A bit more of BPB on here. I'm going to take the Besin shade. I've used this before, it's like an inner corner highlight. And actually it's quite good underneath the brow bone, but I actually just want this on my lids. I said I was supposed to go for a neutral look, but we didn't. You can wet your brush if you want, but um, I'm not going to. I love the shade. I actually want to use this as highlight. I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe brush just to blend that out. Do you know what, I need to look to see if they have this as a highlight shade. Now I've got the lashes on. I, I like the look, yeah. I like the look a lot more. Um, I just love that like champagne colour and how it like blends in with the pinks. It's just nice, isn't it? These lashes are either Tatty Lashes TL30 or TL40. I can't remember which ones. This eye, obviously, like I said, isn't as good as this eye. Never will be, because my eyesight. Obviously, I took it up a, up a bit too far and didn't just like round it off like that. But I feel like when I've got a full face, it'll look all right. So this is the final look. Um, I tried out the new foundation by Huda. I don't know what I think. It's it's quite thick, I'm not gonna lie, it's quite thick. Um, so I feel like you do have to proper hydrate before you put it on. It is slightly clinging into my like nose area and mouth area. But everywhere else, it's actually sitting quite nicely and the blush and the highlight has blended into it nicely. Um, so yeah, I think I could have probably, what do you think? Could have gone for a different tone. I think I went for neutral, um, but I believe they have a bit of a tone, so maybe I need to look into that. But yeah, the final eye look. I really, really like this eye. I'm loving it. I wish I could just did done the same on this one. Um, it's just not as great, is it? Let's be honest. Um, and then the lips. My lip combo. Chippy lip liner by Morphe. I need to buy a sharpener. I've never bought a sh like a sharpener, like a beauty sharpener before. <laughs> um. And then we've got the Inglot lipstick that Lee Stevenson sold me for like two or three quid. Um, and it just looks like this. It is in the shade. I think I had this problem last time and I didn't have one. 405. My voice. It's quite matte. Um, so I suck a cheeky gloss over it, which is the Morphe Chill Gloss. Um, I was trying to look for a clear one, but for some reason, I can't find one. Um, but if you wanted the gloss without um, a lipstick, it's like quite nude orange toned. But I, I think I've managed to make it work. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you've got any more video ideas, don't forget to comment them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe.